It isn't true that vegetables have to be pushed aside as a side dish. The vegetables can be and they should be the main dish. I'm preparing some burgers for you with zucchini and tuna. Awesome, safe dinner and very quick to make with very few ingredients. If we add another vegetable dish nearby, a nice recipe. At the end, I'll show you something that is spectacular. Great as an appetizer too, onion for sweetness. But if you don't want to put it in because you don't like it, then you don't have to. During the video, I will also give you the variations for the different diets. Vegans, vegetarians, celiacs, etc. Inside onion. Garlic is fine too, if you like it. I goofed. I should have cut the onion last. Now I'm crying. I cut it with a knife. It gets messy with the grater. A zucchini. Hold the zucchini by the stem at the bottom, allowing you to grate it entirely without wasting any part. At the bottom of the fridge, I found this poor wilted carrot. Here, I'll put it in too, as it adds a bit of color. No need to peel if washed well. Children who don't eat vegetables, if you add a little carrot and occasionally a bit of broccoli, little by little. Get him used and he'll eat. On the heat, two turns of extra virgin olive oil. I used a slightly tall pot because we cook in the pot. Add the salt now so the zucchini will start to let out their water. I used my granulated broth in place of salt. What I did, check my channels for the recipe. Search for radish granulated broth on Google. Cook it briefly just two or three minutes for a quick sear. After one minute, the vegetables will have begun to wilt. They will expel a bit of water because there was salt in it. We'll give them just one more minute and that's it. After the second minute, at most a third, the vegetables will be dry and you take them off the heat. Let it cool for five minutes. You might help it cool faster with a blast chiller. It's essential to dry the vegetables a bit because the drier they are, the better the outcome. Less bread means they will dry better and taste more like vegetables than bread. An egg from a happy hen. If you prefer not to use eggs in your cooking, you directly add chickpea flour or other legumes in place of the egg. Mix the egg now. There could be veggies. It's warm. Make the omelet. They need to cool a bit first. I add some breadcrumbs to dry it out. Using chickpea flour means you don't require bread. Gabriele, how much bread? It depends on the moisture in the veggies. Think of four tablespoons. This density is just fine. If you have gluten issues, you can use potato flakes, the ones for instant mashed potatoes. However, we do need the egg. They sell gluten-free breadcrumbs too. This is Parmesan cheese. Estimate around two tablespoons for seasoning. It's optional. Vegans and others, why not? For added flavor, they can use toasted and crushed sesame seeds as well, or even yeast flakes. Gabriele, what exactly are these flakes of yeast? They resemble dandruff. <laughs> they are a little thicker. These are flakes. The director looked at me. It is a byproduct of yeast processing that is used for flavoring and it is very good. We're almost done and I'm already thinking about the second recipe because the one I'm interested in because I like her more. I was forgetting I'm going to have a can of tuna, the kind that's 160 grams of chop. I took the tuna in its natural state, but of course use whatever you like. Scoop it and flip it and give it four stabs. Naturally, vegetarians avoid adding tuna. They simply go without it. The friends of cholesterol could perhaps can use some cooked ham or fried bacon that's good for triglycerides. A bit of chopped fresh parsley or other spices you prefer, whatever you like. Oregano and marjoram are perfect, or cumin if you want to add a fusion touch to it. One last turn. This is the consistency you need to achieve, and look how nice and dense it is. Pan. This one is non-stick, but you can use any kind of pan you want. A drop of oil, a little. Put some breadcrumbs on a small plate, but it's optional. You can also choose not to do this. Hands a little bit greasy or wet. You put a small bowl of water close by and wet them or grease. Just take a small handful, but don't go overboard with this mess right here, and you give it shape. Make a ball like an egg. You can make them smaller and cook them in sauce, you know, and then you press it a bit. This was still as big as an egg. Gently press it down a bit, but don't roll it too thin since it's already cooked through. You put it in the bread. I mentioned this optional bread pot. It serves to prevent them from sticking and to make them a bit more golden than in the pan. The ingredients should not be overcooked since they were all practically cooked separately except for the egg. So when they are golden like this, you turn them. In a few minutes, they'll be done on the other side and you can take them out. This one's more tan. This one is definitely mine. I like them like this. Tuna zucchini burger. Come on. Now we just need to add some sauce like mayonnaise, ketchup, or one of those nasty things. 
and we're all set. But not us. We will make the bonus recipe because it is truly spectacular. Some eggplant. The marinated ones our director Beatrice will make. Ready? A nice eggplant. It's washed. Cut off the head, slice it into pieces one centimeter thick, one centimeter wide strips. Same pan as before. There are crumbs in there. Let it be. It's good. Two turns of oil into the eggplants. Here, medium heat, add salt. Sometimes stir it. What am I jumping? Let's go. But they're big. Great. But it's all a mess. With salt, they start to sweat and make noise. Put the lid on. Cook for 10 to 12 minutes. Bowl. Now three or four tablespoons extra virgin oil, garlic. Smashing it like Gabriele. Give it another hit, come on. Did I? Is it okay? Perfect. Crushed and torn basil. Tomato paste. But come on, it's squeezed so poorly all at the bottom. You should have been a pharmacist. But no. Tomato paste. Two tablespoons. Salt. Chili oil, if you like. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Mix with less than half a glass of water. Show how well you mix, when no one else mixes well. In the meantime, the eggplant is cooked. After the eggplant is cooked, we put it into the marinade. Oh, that's the opposite. No way. <laughs> I'm placing it here. I would even go so far as to cool it down, eggplant, yeah, if necessary. Yeah, fast. You can do the opposite, too. No, no. This is better. Cold sauce is best if it's cold. Do what you want. Stir and let it cool. Just a small amount. Yeah. Let's get back to our recipe. Meanwhile, our burgers have become lukewarm. I left a bit of room to put a bowl of eggplants. You can leave them as is. Or you give him four slashes or even a grind fairies like sauce. I leave them like this. I like them this way. You do as you wish. And we put them in. Inside this dish you will find vegetables, carbohydrates, proteins and even tuna. Way too much. Don't call it a side. If afterwards you make a lovely mess and place marinated eggplants on top like these, how would you name it? Is this the year's dish? Let's give it the importance it deserves. A hamburger made of vegetables and tuna with this marinated eggplant on top. Well, I mean, this is a small appetizer, also a snack. Anything is also a dessert and add some sugar. Mm. The tasting must be truly the bomb, guys. It's something incredible. They're so good. Ah. <laughs> Let me have it. Yes, a bin's here. That you are in front of the bin. <laughs> Grab a piece of bread from somewhere nearby. Do it, buy it if you must, and put these eggplants on. You won't make burgers. And a bit of that little thing here. Oh my, this one. Do you know what my favorite snacks are? How can you not be moved by something like this? Try making just the eggplants. They're great. <coughs> Warm regards to all. Thanks, as usual. Beatrice that made eggplants today and also directed it. And a warm greeting from Gabriele. That makes the rest, Gabriele. Why is it that you don't dip your bread in the bowl? Why not? It's the best. Ah. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and make the eggplants. Ah. They are doing well. You recording? Sure, like the other day, um, but I don't know which one first. It's not true that vegetables are just a side dish. No, wait, that's fine, but above all, I'll give you a nice recipe. <coughs> really? But no. During the recipe, I will also give you all the variations for various vegan, celiac, and good company. No good company, no. But you know these burgers are great, and dipping them makes them even better. Maybe it's good with bread. I'm making a burger with egg pool. Recording? No, no. <laughs>